Hi everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Slightly different video today. I'm going to give you a little tour of my home studio, of my workspace, show you the equipment that I use to make my music, basically. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you've got any comments. And while you're there, um, you can give us a little subscribe and a like. That would really help us out. Hope you enjoy this little look at my home studio. So this is basically my entire studio in, in one frame, more or less. Um, you know, it's a pretty compact system. I don't have tons of outboard gear. In fact, I really have very little outboard gear. Um, I use Access Analog when I want to access some expensive gear that I couldn't possibly afford myself. Um, but yeah, this is this is kind of my whole setup. So I guess I'll just sort of run from like top to bottom. So, okay, start at the back. I've got these um, Audio Silk um, acoustic panels at the back, which really help in this space. I mean, I have a curtain pretty close behind me as well, which I close normally if I'm kind of mixing because that really helps deaden the space but they've really helped to to um to kind of sort out and uh, deal with the kind of weird reflections this room has um and they're not too expensive as well I think it was like 75 quid for the pair so again I'm going to drop a link to all these uh, things which I which I use down below so you can you can check them out for yourself and then of course the kind of critical parts of my of my studio I suppose are these Adam Audio A7Vs um, which are just stunning speakers. I absolutely love them. I think the whole Adam brand are just absolutely fantastic. And these ones are just a joy to listen to. I have them on the kind of flat mode, so I can listen really, really accurately. And when I'm sat in the sweet spot, I just, I haven't had a better mixing experience. And particularly with the addition of the acoustic panels, um, it's a really great, really great sound and really balanced. And it really tells me some things about my... <laughs> bad mixing skills and uh, poor bass management and all that. But anyway, hey, composer, not a mixer. But yeah, they're kind of the the core, I suppose, of my my sort of sound. And then, of course, at the at the centre of everything, the powerhouse um, Apple Mac Studio. This is an M2 Pro, which I've had for about a year now. It was an upgrade from 2019 MacBook Pro, which I used to run everything off, which I now use as my second rig, my travel rig. But for this one, um, Got most of my virtual instruments kind of loaded into it, most of them. And then, you know, around the back, we've got far too many cables and stuff um, and some super fast um, external discs. And then I counted earlier, I have 11 um, external hard disks, which is an excessive number. So that's something I really need to upgrade. Kind of the most, the next most important thing, I suppose, is my very compact iostation 24c from prisoners which i've had for quite a few years now i used to work in a far far smaller space and i really needed something which kind of ticked quite a few boxes and this really ticks quite a few boxes so we've got in the middle here all these controls for logic a motorized fader which is so useful for automating uh, levels and mixing and stuff like that and then really great controls for um uh, my monitors, my headphones, and two mic inputs. So yeah, it's got it's got two phantom power inputs and outputs for for monitors, and the quality is just really great on this as well. I'm recording into it just now. It's just such a compact bit of kit, and to have so many things like a, a motorized fader, logic transport controls, and you know two mic inputs um, in such a small package is actually just incredible and really great. And next to it I've got a cloud lifter which I use um, to boost the signal of this which is my main microphone. It's an RE20 from Electrovoice. Most of the time you're listening to my voice coming through this um, RE20 through the cloud lifter and then into the, uh, the Presonus iStation 24C and then into the Mac. It's a really compact system. Um, but it's very high quality and it ticks a lot, lot of boxes for me. So that's why it's kind of important. Uh, down here, I do have quite a few other microphones. I've got some AKGs. I'm talking to you on a Sontronics uh, microphone just now. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you just kind of collect and gather mics. So I quite often work very late into the night. And for that, I use these so my girlfriend doesn't get disturbed. These are sure SRH1840 headphones, uh, which I've had for a couple of years now. They're super comfortable. The sound stage is amazing and um, they just give really truthful, honest realizations of the mix. So it really tells me that, you know, I really actually don't know how to mix bass properly and um, all that kind of stuff, but they are 
really critical part of my setup as well, because I do work late very often and, you know, I can't disturb my partner too much. Okay, moving to the next thing. This is another critical part of the, of the setup. This is a controller from Ghost Note Audio. Um, I've done a video on this, you can, I'll link to it below. Um, this is just, was a transformative bit of kit for me. It's quite simply, super high quality, simple to use, easy to install, and just gives me so much control over my virtual instruments. So that's a really important part of my, of my setup. I do have a really old um, Motu 8 Pre here, which I use sometimes. Um, but I've, I've most of the time I just use this prisoness and it, it does the business. But yeah, that's my kind of outboard gear here. Most important thing though, if I'm recording, I don't want to be disturbed. This goes on the door. You know, you don't want to do that take and for someone to come in and offer you a cup of tea. Um, so that's a really important thing. Got a couple of LED lights there that I use for, for filming and stuff like that as well. Okay, and then at the bottom here, is my keyboard, which is a Studio Logic SL73, weighted uh, keys, which is really great. And um, yeah, it's a, quite a basic keyboard, um, but I got it because of the quality of the action. It really is, is very pleasing to play and means that I can be far more musical in my kind of programming and inputting of, of notes. So yeah, it's a great bit of kit and not too expensive as well. Which is, which is really good. So that's basically most of the kind of physical hardware that I use um, to create my music. You know, it's not a massive setup at all. You know, this is, this is a room in my house so I have to fit into, into a space. I don't have a dedicated studio as most composers don't have. You know, we have to fit in where we can. So having a kind of compact system, a high quality system is really important. Oh yeah, over here on, on this side, I suppose I'll show you my kind of, kind of bookshelf. Um, kind of academic geeky music books. Uh, my second camera there, which is a, a Nikon, uh, pretty old now. I'm filming currently on a Panasonic Lumix. Um, yeah, just some some scores. We've got Wagner Ring Cycle, Mahler Symphonies, tons and tons of scores in another place in this house as well. There we go. We've got Stravinsky's Rite of Spring just uh, just sat there as well. You know, um, so I. I do refer to all these scores quite often. And, you know, I, I teach at Leeds Conservatoire as well, I teach classical composition there. So I do have to use these books pretty regularly. Um, and then, yeah, nice little Star Wars pin as well, because why not? So yeah, this is basically my entire setup. I'm trying to see if I kind of missed anything, but there's really not much else that I use to create my music. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope it answered the questions that some of you had about my setup. If you have any other further questions, please drop me a line, let me know. And while you're there, you could give us a little like and a subscribe. That would really help us out. Thanks so much for coming along. See you in the next one for something which I still cannot speak about, but I'm really excited to share. And I know that you're going to enjoy it. So please give us a little subscribe so you can be in on the secret when it comes out. Thanks so much for coming along. See you next time. Cheers.